Janáček is for me one of the gods in opera. You know, we usually talk about Mozart, Verdi, Richard Strauss, Wagner, Puccini. I would add to that list Janáček. Um, I think he's, he has an emotional impact on audience, audiences, which is so immediate that that's what makes him really God in the opera world. A year ago, Mark Williams, uh, who's the director of artistic planning, uh, came up to me and said, we're thinking of doing Cunning Little Vixen. And I had already had developed this idea of singers engaging with um, an animation with just their heads and an animated body that's divorced uh, from their physical body. Um, and it seemed like the right kind of approach for Cunning Little Vixen uh, because it is so much about these animals coming to life. And um, I was thinking with the animation, it might work really well in a beautiful architectural space. So we met with Franz and talked to him a little bit about the idea. And I think he saw the idea of this um, animation and the, the body being an animated version of the animals as something um, that could really solve one of the big performance challenges of the piece. I took a picture of Severance Hall and then created um, in my very simple way, uh, the kind of forced perspective that the, um, that the screens will have. And so creating that sort of panoramic shell was where I, I went on from there. So the whole idea of the singers putting their heads through the wall is something that we're all used to when we go to uh, ice skating rinks or carnivals, and that creates a really charming and, 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 and quite wonderful um, dissonance between our, our sense of scale and the reality uh, ahead of us. In Coming Little Vixen, I think it's, it's the most beautiful music he has written. It's uh, full of, as it is a fairy tale, it's full of fantasy, of colors, you, what well, you can imagine what, what happens in a forest. And that's what, what I find makes it really unique. sets that we've been constructing out of cardboard um, this is the tavern and you know we make all this stuff in here with you know hot glue guns and scissors and then we're we use a lot of lighting in here just to kind of figure out how we're going to light these when we do the animation so we can kind of get an idea of like what the firelight might look like through that fireplace so really like a lot of it is a combination of the two of these so like this one we built it but, and then use these lights to, you know, see how we wanted the shadows to play in the room. And then we rebuilt it in After Effects. We're using like a lot of these elements, um, but setting it all up ourselves. Yeah, and we've just been building different locations. This is uh, the Forester's home. <clears throat> and again, we end up photographing it from different angles to use inside of the sets that we've uh, created. We've built a fair amount of the sets that we're going to be using in a lot of the the world. Trees, buildings, rocks, and stuff that can be reused. Like a forest is, a, make two or three trees and you can make a forest out of them. So we can keep repeating the same elements. Um, so, you know, we're, we're about a third of the way into the process, I think. Yeah, I would say that's the hardest part about it is this big question mark I mean we haven't even seen it projected on these full-size screens yet so we've just been making these things on the you know our computer screens are like that big and things gonna be blown up to I don't know, like a hundred times that size so it, it might look it might look all I don't know goofy is what or no no you've all said dopey but we'll find out what happens it's a process you know so we'll see the next step for the production we've now developed a a lot of the animation, at least the beginnings of the animation. So the next step now is to see how it interacts with the building and with the wall itself. 
which we're going to see on Monday in Cleveland. So we're all very excited to see how this projection surface is really going to work and how comfortable the singers are going to be um, with their portals. Um, we're going to see that for the first time on Monday, and I think that's going to help us direct the, the next steps of the animation. We're all really looking forward to it.